Oh hey, welcome to another edition of Hand Laid Tracks and 3D Printed Trains with Socrates. Today we're looking at a 3D printed HO kids style train, tracks, turnouts, the whole schmeal. There's a contest for cults called Board Games and I wanted to make a, this is a toy for kids from the first place. The N-Scale Trains are supposed to be a kids toy that you could run on the track, but the trains are kind of small for the whole printing it as an actual toy, but HO bit on the bigger side. So I made an HO magnetically connected train set. It's got trains, cars, loads, coal load in it, wheels and couplers, only hardware are M2 bolts, I think there's 12 millimeter and uh, 20 millimeter, and a bunch of washers and lock nuts, and they uh, make your axles and also the pinion for the thing to change. The couplers, like I said, are magnetic. These are actually uh, a weaker magnet. When you buy magnets, they have an, uh, an end numbers. These are N35s, which aren't that strong. There's N52s I'm waiting for in the mail. They're a lot stronger. And these are 5 by 2 uh, millimeters. I also have them in 6 by 3 and 6 by 2 sizes. And the ones I'm getting in the mail are 6 by 3s, which should be a whole lot stronger printer made noise and it comes with all sorts of different tracks you've got your got a bumper end because I'm using a bamboo printer so these all printed one piece four color print nice bumper end turnouts actual turnout again prints is one piece it's got a pinion in the bottom it's a little hard to break free but not impossible I just had one that was a little difficult to break free the rest of them broke free pretty easily again this is a two color print also have straight tracks with long straights, various lengths and short tracks, six inch and nine inch curves, and the uh, the couplers also come with. A, there's this little pinion there, and this is a one piece hinge, and it prints frozen. So I made a little breaking thing that you can use to break it free. So once you break it free, give it a little bit wiggling there, and this will help with the, uh, the coupler moving back and forth. Of course, you can leave it frozen if you want. It seems to work, but I think it works a little bit better if you go ahead and break it free. It's one of the nice things about the 3D printer. You can print hinges in one piece in, in place. And the... Uh, so your couplers are in two pieces with the magnet and it's hidden inside. You print the magnet inside with a pause command. You find the proper place in the slicer where the gap is covered and you hit a pause using the bamboo slicer it's real easy you just right click the plus sign and add a pause command I have another video how to do it with the creality it's much much harder bunch of wheels because you got to have a bunch of wheels that you can store in your gondola and uh, oh yeah that's right also included a crossing track because every train needs a figure eight etc and with the trains, like I say, one side is the magnets, one should be one polarity, the other should be the other polarity, so they all have to be in the same alignment, the train. So you really can't run a reversing loop because you reverse the polarity on the magnets and then they won't connect anymore. And if you don't have a bamboo and just a normal printer, you can do it all in one color, I suppose. It definitely looks better in multicolors. And with the bamboo, I have an A1, by the way. I, I tried an X1C, it didn't work for me, I returned it. But the A1, very good printer, really like it so far. And the way you designate colors, each of these is sort of a separate object within it. So as long as you have the edge turned off, you can click on the whole bar, the whole rail, for example, and it'll turn it to whatever color you want to print it at. And this is how you go ahead and do it in the slicer. So this is the color mapping using the bamboo printer. So if you're doing it in one color in your own slicer, this doesn't matter. But in the bamboo, you can bring the piece in and with the shift and tab, it gets rid of that side panel, which is kind of annoying. And the end lifts up the fill but the fill panel and if you click off edge detection it does a whole section at once uh, because this basically loads in as, as different objects so it's easy if you turn off edge detection but then the uh, the mover in the middle there I like to get it uh, into different colors because if it's it basically if you leave it as one color the way it originally does it'll be a lot harder for it to print it'll take longer because it'll do color changes the whole way so I like to turn the thumb tab and the knob on the bottom to the same color as the as the uh, ties, which in this case is brown and silver or gray. And 
with that slider knob it makes it easier to, to get it all at once too makes it easy to do the print you can do it edge by edge but that's a whole lot harder and uh, shift zero or control zero gives you back to a neutral image export and print and after it's printed I use a brim and also I changed the brim setting on there I use 0.15 for the brim edge and some of them are easy to get off and some of them are harder uh, basically I find that with the brim I haven't had any failures I've had a couple of failures without it and since it takes like seven minutes or so for the bamboo to get going I just assume put the brim on the edge and take it off and I use the deburring tool it has a nice little uh, edge to it you go around there's basically two kinds of deburring tools but the normal sort of a pull deburring tool which is sort of right-handed uh, there's also a push one which is essentially a left-handed one so when you pull it towards you you end up with a little edge where you can't quite get so I like to use the left-handed one to remove it and I use it a little later on so once you clean off the edges you basically that that knob push it first to get the first cracks free because the moving part is sort of stuck but not really I've been using that poor little old nail file of mine which is starting to get beaten up but you can use a little screwdriver and you kind of crack it free you can hear it go crack 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 and then I just sort of leverage the screwdriver or the uh, shim underneath it to crack that as free as possible also make sure you crack the the thumb part free you have to lift that up to get underneath it and then with the screwdriver and a paper towel I've been able to crack them free and they've worked so far I've had one that was difficult but for the most part they work pretty well and the couplers themselves are printed with a magnet in place I have them between a 5x2 and 6x2 and 6x3s as well and a 5x3 so depending on the size you're using make sure you get the, the stronger magnets there's N numbers the N35 is what I started with and these are only 5 by 2 N35s and I have on order 6 by 3 N52s and apparently the N52 is a much stronger stronger magnet and they kind of pull apart a little too easy so it can be frustrating if you're pulling it along and you know but it's also good if it encourages the slow more moderate play for a child that uh, wants to be too crazy because if it pulls apart you gotta you gotta go slow like an actual train the hardware is all M2 there's uh, uh, 20 millimeter axles and 16 or 12 millimeter verticals to hold the uh, couplers to the actual train body and this is me putting on the 20 millimeter axles at this point they're a little tight on the wheels maybe it'd be better if they were completely loose you can drill them out and make it loose around the wheel completely uh, basically screw it on I, I found the power screwdriver with an M2 tip is much much easier than doing it by hand and screw it all the way on and loosen it up till they're nice and loose make sure that the magnets when you put the magnets in they're in opposite polarity that way the car has sort of both sides have one way you can't flip the cars back and forth but they'll all line up one way and you can move the front to the back and it keeps working and then with an M12 bolt through the bottom and a little lock nut held on with I use a like a little got a specialty a ratchet for that or a specialty a socket for that and this is one of those things that'll see how good you are with your fingers as you're getting older not as good as it used to be but put a uh, nut on there make sure that you know, once you get it tight loosen it back up so they're floppy as possible because you don't want it to bind up and I have a bunch of a couple different uh, inserts that's tried to be an empty one I made a nice little uh, load of coal or rocks or whatever it might be steel if you like and again the deburring tool is helpful to clean off the inside to make sure it, it fits in and out especially if you want to get it back out again because if you don't want to get it out it's not that big a deal but if you make it a little bit cleaner and that's me using the backwards uh, tool there and it fits inside so just like that you've got your print designated in colors and once it's printed add yourself some couplers find yourself a kid and a Christmas tree got yourself a nice Christmas tree HO scale set and it works with regular HO cars. It's engaged, so you should put able to put a normal car on it. These cars won't work on the track because my flanges are pretty thick. But a regular HO car should work on it. I haven't played with it very much because I'm an end scaler. But if you liked it, check it out on Cults. Everything's for free. And uh, make yourself a happy little kid with a happy little train set. If my knees worked better, I'd be playing with it right now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check it out next time. This was. Handley tracks making an HO strain for the kids going out to Christmas and a taze and a fun old thing is going down because you got to get a better song which is on the other song and you shouldn't use this because the other song is actually kind of better and I rather like Florida man yeah.
This was Florida Man for Handlay Tracks in Florida, Florida, like, yeah, yeah. Florida Man for the Handlay Tracks and the 3D printed trains. Get a 3D printed train and take it to Florida where it's hot and you can get a haircut.